I'm Stewie Peru on the mysterious, bizarre life stories of mysteries. Stewie Peru. Here we are again on another groundbreaking life story, a mystery, a character of the real world. Today, we focus on Mickey Johnson Jr., the ill-fated boxer, and how his career became ill-fate doomed. And we look at the corruption in the industry today. Hey! What are you doing on my lawn? Hi, I'm Stewie Peru for HBO. Uh -huh. Talked about the uh, documentary. Oh, uh, that's it. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Well, come in. Okay. Is this your house? Yep. So, um, we're Watch thinking about uh, doing an interview with you. Yeah. Uh, talking about. Get some decoration done. Oh, very nice. Why? Why do they call me the Johnson Jr. Why, mate? Why? Because I was done up the fire! Come on, lad, stop playing with your toys. We ain't got all day. I have a life. You want that thing? When do you want me to start? Uh, whenever you're ready. I always wanted to be a father. My father used to say to me, it all gets better in the ring. You don't need to say why, you just do. I didn't know what he meant back then. But now I realize I was always meant to be a, a boxer. Not who I am anymore. As soon as I got out of that canvas, all I gained was a big belly. <laughs> so your father, he was. <coughs> so your father, he was a nice man. A good man. My father beat me every night, toughened me up. And his father, and his father, and his pop, and his pop. Before that, more ribbon! They're Irish, you see, so they all had something in common. Intoxication. <laughs> Alcoholism! As they were Irish, born and bred. They called it a liquid breakfast diet. <coughs> I called it a scar my childhood. <laughs> Despite your father's influences, how did you get into the ring professionally? I was a good fire. But I never got the recognition I deserved. So I went down the wrong route. I met a guy named Donatella Poison. Oh. Look at If I see you falling again! One time, they put me up against an eight foot fight. No chance. Oh. Nice match, yeah? I like you, kid. You got arts. But it takes more than arts. It takes guts. And it takes more than guts. You did his pet talks for hours and hours. It takes more than skeletal muscle. It takes me any more than that. And it takes more than epithelial tissue. It takes steroids. 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 I can't do it, Senior.
What do you mean you can't do it? <laughs> I'm strong enough. It's all right, kid. <sighs> Last match was a bit difficult. He was eight foot, all right? I'll give you that, I'll give you that. <laughs> Look, kid, you're strong. But you can't punch like an horse. Look, Mickey, you could be the world's greatest boxer. Oh, Mickey, uh, what's the time? Senior! Why would you do that, Senior? It's only a bit of a Try to help you here. Fuck oh, yeah! When I took him, I felt good. However, Donatello started to get involved with uh, drugs. Oh, yeah. He used to sometimes forget about training. Yeah. I was a mess with a hype. So what happened then? I retired. Threw in the towel. But I couldn't throw the drugs. No. So Donatello got me into a new kind of business. I was his muscle for a time in his uh, drug empire. But are you clean now, Mickey? What are you saying? I haven't been involved with his incorporation or drugs for two years. Because of one reason. Donatella Poison, the senior son, took over. The Donatella Poison. Are you referring to the notorious Donatello Poiser? The current leader of the underground drug industry? Not only drugs, friend. Remember that twin turp in Masca back in 06? That was him. But are you afraid he might track you down? After all the talk, he's still alive. Hey. Hey. I saw it on the news. I saw it on the news. Senior getting shot in his restaurant. His son getting killed by a bad man. Don't tell me he's still alive, Mr. Motherfucker. Well, there's a conspiracy theory that he was never there. His imposter is... Anyway, I want to get back in the ring. Fight the good fight. To prove that I've still got it. Give that back! No. Oh, how many more? Till you stop. Don't need to stop. Till you bleed. The story of Mickey Johnson Jr. is a sad one. His career, riddled in drugs and crime, has deluded himself into thinking he still has a chance in the ring. Unfortunately for him though, his deranged nostalgia has made him oblivious to his overweight, drunken self. I'm Stewie Peru. Thank you for watching. <laughs>